Hello Europe, this is your boy MB again. Uh, today we're gonna talk about hash table. PowerShell hash table or hash tables. I'm gonna clear this stuff out for you. So what a hash table, hash table are nothing but um, if you are from Python background, they are uh, dictionaries, right? Uh, so let's uh, see what are they useful for? Uh, let's go ahead and create a small dictionary here. I'm gonna say at. Let my friends know what this dictionary is about. All right, it's gonna be all right. Let's say we're gonna say mb equals vmware. Okay, the first uh, are names, and then all right. So now I'm gonna say Ganesh. Right, and then and I will say storage. Right. So um, when I print this out, let's see what happens. Uh, you see name and value here. Uh, this is kind of misleading. The name, right? It's actually keys. It should be keys, K E Y S. But I don't know why it want to list it out as name. But when you want to operate it, right? If you just say name and something, it you don't have it. You just have keys, right? Or values uh, right so uh, if you want to see it as uh, FD or format table right I mean how you want to see it is up to you I mean that's a uh, default how you want to see it as format list you can see it like this uh, that's just a view let's say you want to add mm, someone uh, you want to add mm, somebody you want to add Let's say Ravi, right? Uh, we're gonna add him to which domain? Let's say automation. Hmm? Is that spelling correct? Okay, hope so. And I'm gonna print out here. So uh, we have Ravi from the automation domain team, and we from VMware, Gajju from network, and Ganesh from storage team. Let's say we wanna remove uh, Sutravi now <laughs> for. Well, he's my favorite guy. I don't want to re remove him just for the sake of it. No tutorial here. Let's see what we have. How should I remove him? Uh, when you, whenever you want to remove or add or uh, call uh, something from a dictionary or hash table, you always use the key. So here, key is uh, nothing but the name or Ravi is the key, right? So I'm going to uh, do that and I'm going to print it again, right? So that's what we have. Uh, let's say we want to list out all the keys, just the keys. So it's listing out all the names. Just, uh, let me add a separator here. Uh, I'm just putting this so that now you don't get confused. Right? You just have names there. So keys is. Uh, oh, I'm going to just do this. Right. And uh, keys. And let's say you want to just see the values, right? So these are values. Hmm. So anywho, uh, now let's say find out the value by you want to find out just the uh, value of one key, right? So you do this as if you're indexing into an array, just like that. But you mention the name of the key. Uh, in this uh, scenario, let's see Ambi, and okay, his value is VMware R in this. Um, he's from VMware domain. What if you uh, want to list out the key by the value? Let's see. We want to. Uh, let's put VMware itself and see whether it lists out VMware. No, you can't do that. Okay, it just uh, tries to. You can only search stuff from using a key. Right, so uh, let's say we will. So we're going to uh, run a loop through a hash table. Uh, that is, let us run a, a loop through a hash table, right? So I'll do this. Ah, now keys equals, I'm just, I mean, I don't have to do this. I can directly uh, do this in the loop, but just for, you know, to make it easy for you to understand, for each key in uh, keys, right? And I will go here. 
I will say uh, write post uh, key uh, is from domain okay let me see so ambi is from vmware domain gaju is from network domain ganesh is from storage domain hmm right so that's all we have for hash table right now uh, you can try to come up with and you know, try to do some exercise probably uh, in your class how many members are there you can just put you know names uh, try to make entries there Hmm. Right. Uh, you can add uh, values, as I um, said earlier. Uh, you can add. Um, I think I didn't. I show you how to add. Okay, so I did show you. So you can add entries there. You can remove entries there, just like you know, an Excel or a database or something. Uh, you can call it as in-memory database. I mean, at least you can use it as an in-memory database. Until the next time, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.